EA has admitted that their launch of SimCity earlier this month was more or less a huge effing disaster. Specifically with their always on DRM, which crippled players not allowing them to play the game at all, even if they didn't do social modes, because it's always on. Now they had said they had to have that because, well, there are certain cloud computing functions that your computer can't handle that need to happen. Well, a Redditor did turn that on its head by using the JavaScript to reverse mod it to prove that, yeah, there is an online capable version. It's just completely inaccessible for you. So GM Lucy Bradshaw, who we've heard so much from in the past few weeks, had this to say. So could we have built a subset offline mode? Yes, but we rejected that idea because it didn't fit with our vision. We did not focus on the single city in isolation that we have delivered in past SimCities. We recognize there are fans, people who love the original SimCity, who want that. But we're also hearing from thousands of people who are playing across regions, trading, communicating, and loving the always connected functionality. So, in short, it didn't fit their vision of making bank off, y'all. I want to know one thing. Who the hell is loving the always-on DRM. Who is asking for that? Oh, please, please limit my game functionality. I would love that. Are those people real? Did you create them in The Sims character creation mode? Are you reticulating our splines? And there's a difference between wanting always-on DRM, which probably no sane human wants, wants to be limited by their server capacity, and wanting online components at all. I mean, I could see people wanting that, an option to go online and be social and connect, but also have that option to not do that. Well, on their apology tour, EA is offering a list of free games. And those games include Battlefield 3 Standard, Bejeweled 3, woo, Dead Space 3, Mass Effect 3, Medal of Honor Warfighter, NFS Most Wanted. Also on the list is Plants vs. Zombies. You can't find that on your iPhone for 99 cents. And also SimCity 4. Fun fact, that is the last known working version of SimCity. So you can still technically take advantage of this. This applies to anyone who buys SimCity 5 before March 25th. Do you think that's a good deal though? Buy one non-working game, hope it gets patched later, and get a current working game? I would lean toward no. I'm not going to validate EA's apology and this business model. I would like to be respected as a customer. But what do you think? Is this a good deal to take advantage of? Or are you pretty much done with EA? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you around next time.